Hi, this is Fred Kroll. I want to talk to you about Basketball Coaching, my educational book. This is a book that I think, honestly, is one of the best in the world. Why? Because it's written as a workbook. And I want to take you to the section here I wrote on major coaching errors. I want to confess right now, Coach, I'm a bleacher coach. I don't have a team, so you don't get to come and watch all the things I do wrong. Everybody can coach. One of the reasons I think coaching is so fascinating, when I was coaching at Sanford University in the 70s, my daughter Jennifer was in first grade and we're driving down the road talking about our ball club and she says, Dad, why do you start Irvin Terry? The amazing thing is every person who comes and watches your game can tell you how to do it. But that's part of the basketball game because you're right there front and center. The first coaching error I've listed is basketball is a great game but it's a terrible God. If we put the wrong perspective on coaching, we're going to be in trouble when we lose. I talked to a coach the other day. He was like 23-4 and four last year. Unbelievable year. This year, he's getting rocked. He's getting beat. What happened? All of his good players graduated. He wasn't able to reproduce in a program that he's just is starting. I saw a coach who had national, national reputation. Final four get his brains beat out for four years in a, in a row. You know what happened? Lost his confidence. I called this coach and I talked to him and I said, you know, I notice you're having a tough year. Can I give you some thoughts? Don't let it define you. Basketball is a great game, but it's a terrible God. If your one loss record begins to define you, guess what's going to happen? Here's what you're going to do. Number one, when things don't go your way, you're going to do a few things that are going to be very detrimental. You're going to start panicking. You're going to start putting pressure on your players. And that pressure is only going to make them play worse. So number one, pressure is going to make the player play worse, not better. When that player is at that free throw line and misses that crucial free throw, it's usually not because he doesn't care or he didn't try hard. He might have tried too hard. So I think one of the coaching errors when you make basketball your god is you overwork your players instead of having balance. Overworking your players and getting tired legs and tired minds is just as bad as not preparing them enough and practicing enough. The second thing you're going to do is you are going to lose your confidence and you're going to start playing the blame game if you're sensitive and you're going to start saying, you know what, I don't have a good offense, I don't have a good defense. And then you're going to start making sudden changes and you're going to change way too often. You know what I told this coach? Don't let, it, don't let your one-loss record define you. Don't let it impact your self-image. And secondly, stick with what you're doing that got you there in the first place. Don't make big changes. Make minor changes, but not big changes. This coach emailed me back and said, you know, that was really important because, you know, I was losing my confidence. I was losing my confidence. You know what I say? Confidence is a slippery fish. They're hard to hang on to. You can have confidence and lose it very, very quickly. So... Why are you coaching? Make your team better. Why are you coaching? To love kids. Why are you coaching? To change lives. And you know what's the payday for a great coach is about 10 years after a player plays for you. If you've done a great job, they're going to come back and say, you know what, playing for you is one of the greatest experiences of my life. I'm so thankful that my son had a high school coach that even today they're great friends because they have great respect for one another. Coach, basketball's a great game but don't make it your God.